So, you got scammed. That's why you clicked on this video. If you weren't scammed, why are you watching? Just kidding. Keep watching, I need watch hours. <laughs> but yeah, scamming in a Hypixel Skyblock is a rampant problem today. And on Real Talk episode 4 today, I will be discussing on how you should recover from scams and how to protect yourself in the future, as well as to provide my argument on the side of the debate on the morality of scammers and what should be done. So first and foremost, let's cut the chase. Let's go through how you should recover from a scam. Step 1. Calm your ass down. It's simple on paper, but I guarantee 99.9% .9 of you guys who got scammed can't do this. If you got scammed, step back from the computer. And take a deep breath, log off for a while, or maybe even rent to your friends to let off some steam. But don't, bear in mind, don't, don't fuel your anger and do this. Yes, exactly. Don't ever go to the Hypixel forums and complain about getting scammed. Unless you like getting disliked, bombed, and flamed by the forums. If you do enjoy getting flamed, then mm, I guess you can do it. But yeah, for reals, when you get scammed, just step back and calm down. And focus on your breathing or do some whatever you think help you let off some steam. Instead, and I know after you get scammed, you're probably like emotionally traum like traumatized. You didn't expect someone to play with your trust and etc. And I know it's a horrible feeling, but don't bring the toxicity that you have or the hate you have on the forums or even into the game. It's just not good for both you or the community. You will get flamed and the community would be pissed at you. And it's just not good for both parties. It's a lose-lose situation. So just step one, calm down. This is very this is the hardest rule to follow, but just please follow this rule because unless you want to be hated by the forums or like you want to be flamed, you really shouldn't be cussing or exposing the person who scammed you and all because that could in itself get you banned from the forums for public shaming which I agree is a stupid rule but it's a rule so we need to follow it it hasn't been changed yet so unless you want to get banned from the forums I wouldn't suggest going on the forums and ranting or complaining about you getting scammed and posting the person's name there because you will not only get flamed by the community you will, you might also be banned for public shaming according to the Hypixel forum rules which states that you should not publicly shame people because witch hunting is a thing and Hypixel doesn't want people to witch hunt other players just because they scammed you. I don't know the justification for that but sure, it's still a rule you need to follow it no matter what and that's rule number one, just calm down. It genuinely helps you a lot and it helps you think clearer because after you are scammed, you are once again emotionally traumatized because someone played with your feelings, someone played into someone played with your trust, right? And that feeling sucks. I'll just say that again. But at the point of time when you're scammed, you probably cannot think rationally like a normal human being. So you probably want to just sit back, do whatever you like first, step away from the game and stop thinking about it. Or do whatever you think that is best for you to let go of this stress without going to the forums or lobby one and complaining, okay? So number two. Rule number two, assess the losses. So now that you've stepped, stood back on the computer, calmed down for a while, and you're able to think like a rational human being again because you aren't like, traumatized and all, you assess the amount that you got scammed by. So if you got scammed 300,000 coins, do you get scammed your armor set? Do you get scammed your weapon? Do you get scammed your talismans or whatever thing that you got scammed by? Think about how much it got scammed, and if it and if it's a small amount for you, which probably isn't if you're watching this video, because if you actually only got scammed by a small amount, you can still go about your daily working Hypixel Skyblock life, grinding coins and etc. Perfectly fine. But if it got scammed by a if you got scammed for a for a significant amount of your total wealth, or you got scammed for your best weapon or for your best armor, continue watching. So basically. Think about what you got scammed by. If you got scammed by a large amount, for like example, your entire strong dragon set gets scammed for whatever reason, think about what's the next best armor set you can run, and and assess the next best option you can use to grind back the coins. So in order to assess the damage done and what you can do to help yourself, ask yourself these two questions. First question, what was scammed? 
think clearly and think about it about what you were scammed and whether and whether that amount is significant to you or was that just a petty crime and you just lost like 50,000 coins when you have over 10 million in your bank if that's the case you can just you, you can just go back to Hypixel Skyblock and do your stuff because that's uh, insignificant so if it was a significant amount that was scammed go to question 2 was the item or amount scammed enough to deter you from unable from being unable to use your current money making method if your answer to that is no basically meaning the item that you were scammed or the coins you were scammed would not affect how you make money just continue with what you are doing and just and just if the if your answer to that is no just proceed if a current making if a current money making method or source for better money making method with a lower level gear so if let's say for example that you got scammed by your strong dragon armor but you do slayers but you can still kill stuff with your young dragon armor you can still proceed if you're normal hypex or skyblock life grind coins and do stuff so at least you can still earn back the money lost so that's the main point here however if your answer to question 2 was yes whereby the item scammed would deter you from using your main money making method for example without strong dragon armor you can't do slayers but with but you still have your young dragon armor set, but and but you can still do thirteen thousand damage per hit with your weapon with young dragon armor. If that's the case, think about your other money making methods that you know and assess whether your gear is qualified and capable of using these money making methods. For example, since you can't do slayers without your strong dragon armor, for example. But you still have young dragon armor. You can grind zealots instead if you can do if you can do thirteen thousand damage with a main sword. So you can change up your money making method and adapt to the situation, and earn back the money required. And there is another method if you got scammed to recover from it. This second method requires you to have trusted friends and to be part of the community in a sense and to be like trusted by the community as a as a whole. So. If you have trusted friends which, which are in the game who are generous and willing to entrust you with a loan, you can use this second method to recover from your losses. This second method is a lot more effective than the first method because you don't need to cut down the speed of how you make money because someone scammed you of items that would slow down your process of making money. The second method will allow you to get back the money lost, invest back into the stuff that it got scammed, use those you use your original gear that you bought back to grind for coins as per normal and pay back the loan that your generous friend gave you so yeah the second method is pretty simple to recover from the scam would just involve you getting a loan from a trusted friend but just return the money afterwards it's i i know it sucks to be scammed but it's not worth scamming your friend for the money for a lost friendship it's really not worth it i know you may be mad and stuffs at people scamming you and you losing like 3 million coins but it's not worth it in the long run like are you really gonna break your friendship with someone because of 3 million coins like that's just really dumb in my opinion you shouldn't do that so yeah and if you scam back your friend just because you got scammed yourself you aren't much better than the uh, than the person who scammed you and i'll be honest with you right there do not scam others just because you got scammed that is like an excuse to scam and that's like the worst motivation i've heard before for justifying your reason to scam so with the loan that you have now you can buy back your gear proceed to continue with a set grinding skyblock experience to get more coins to pay off your slavery loans wait i, I mean your friend's heart on cash and there's no slavery to be seen here but yeah just remember to repay your loans and don't scam your friend but if your friend is trust uh, if your friend does give you a loan make good use of it get back the coins pay him or her back because without him or her loaning you you probably would take even more time to recover from your scam so appreciate your trusted friend by the way don't scam them and after that's done number three reflect and protect yourself learning without reflecting is a waste reflecting without learning is dangerous confucius Assuming you have dutifully followed the rules number one and two above, you should be back on track to recover from a scam. So now's the time to resettle down and to rethink why and how you got scammed. 
Reflect on what you could have done to protect yourself and learn from your mistakes. As the saying goes, once bitten, twice shy. Don't make the same mistake again. Here's some general protective measures that you should take to protect yourself from scams. Rule number one, don't go first when trading items or coins. Please, if someone is giving you unstable dragon set for 3 million coins, do not bid on the person's auction tree for 3 million coins, then get then tr then letting him give you the unstable set next. If you were to go first, you are always at risk of getting scammed or the person just locks off, blocks you from Hypixel Skyblock and bam, 3 million coins, poof, gone. Number two, Please use the goddamn auction house, guys. The auction house exists. Go there and buy the items you need. I know there are geniuses who overpay. I know people who bid 1.5 million coins on my tarantula helmets. I know those people exist. But if, let's say, you are unlucky to come across those crazy bidders, just let them overbid your stuff. After the auction ends, collect the money back and bid on another item again. It will take longer for you to... to, to to get a reasonable bid that doesn't get overbid by some crazy dude, but at least it's better than you losing that amount of money to a scammer, right? At least that's better. Number three, if a deal sounds too good to be true, it probably is a scam. Like, come on guys, if someone is selling unstable dragon armor for 1 million coins, you, you bloody got them know that is too good to be true. No one is going to do that unless it's a giveaway, and even if it's a giveaway, why would someone give away something for 1 million coins in return. That's like, very weird and very fishy. So unless it's a giveaway, if the deal sounds too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Don't do it. If you want to buy stuff that is slightly cheaper than the average price, buy it when the auction house is doing its off-peak. Buy it on weekdays, especially on Wednesdays and Thursdays and Tuesdays. Those days are the days that where there are the least people on during off-peak hours at like 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Eastern Time and U.S. Time. Go bid during those times and you can get cheaper items. It's not worth to get cheaper items from someone because who knows what they might do to your coins afterwards. Number four, don't touch the sacred slash co or add command. Whatever you do, I don't care how good it sounds, don't slash co-op add for whatever good goddamn reason, okay? They may promise you a 50 million Midas if you slash co-op at them, but you know what's going to happen? They're going to rob an entire island of your coins, your minions, and your sanity. Okay, so moving on. Number 5. Skyblock is a dangerous capitalist anarchy. Trust no one but yourself when trading. If it's your close friend or your real-life friend, I guess you can trust them. But in Skyblock, remember that it is a capitalist society. Everyone's greedy and all for coins. So... Beware, there are always going to be people out there. Number six, please check on what you are bidding or trading. Don't bid on a rogue sword thinking it's a pigment sword, please. I've seen plenty of these problems. I've seen plenty of people back in the old days when this scam was new. I've seen many people bid on like 8 million coins on like superior dragon chest plates. That's actually just superior farm chest plates. Chest farm, like farm armor that's reforged to superior and people bid on it because it's yellow people actually do that and people i've seen people bid up onwards of five million coins for it so please check what you're bidding on okay don't bid on a pigment sword if it's a rogue sword don't bid on an ember rod if it's a if it's a blaze rod okay your parents give you a pair of eyes make good use of them please and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So this is this is a relatively short video, and I know that I at first I wanted to give my own debate on the on the three main questions whereby a lot of people who are discussing on the forums about the ideas of being scammed, the morality of those people who scam others, and whether they should be banned and etc. I will do that in a separate video, but in this video is mainly talking about how to prevent yourself from being scammed, and how to protect yourself from being scammed in the future, and how to react to being scammed as well as how to recover from a scam as soon as possible. Because I know if this is your first time getting scammed, then if you're watching this video, you're probably emotionally in shock right now. Please calm down, take a break on the computer, step away and everything will be alright. Ultimately, at the end of the day, 
it is a learning experience for you guys who are probably young and you probably got scammed. It's probably a learning experience for you guys to learn that the world is not that trustable. And if I think that if you guys can learn this lesson through an in through through a block game like Minecraft, I feel like that lesson is justified for the cost that you suffered. I mean, at least on the bright side in the future, you would know not to trust strangers that easily. You probably would know how to protect yourself in the real world and on the online world in the near future. So with that, I hope you guys learn your lesson well and learn that trust is something that many people in this world will abuse. And with that, I wish you guys good luck. Take care in this safe, anarchic, capitalist world. With that, Fireball the Hemi, signing out.